bring in the former U.S. Treasury Secretary, Larry Summers. Mr. Secretary, thanks for joining us. First of all, what's your reaction to this very dire warning from Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen that the nation could default as early as June 1st, a few weeks from now? It is unwelcome, but not unexpected, Wolf. Uh, we knew that this day would come. We have seen for the last few weeks uh, tax collections running below expected. And so the secretary has done what any responsible official in her position would do, which is warn that it's possible that uh, we're going to hit that debt constraint sooner than most people were thinking of by June 1st. But in some sense, it doesn't matter exactly when the crunch moment comes. We know that it would be a catastrophe for our country to uh, default. Reputationally, in terms of America's word, uh, for our citizens losing even briefly access to Social Security benefits, higher interest rates uh, through time, being kind of an embarrassment. Uh, China has never uh, defaulted. Other countries we compete with have uh, never uh, defaulted. So this is something we have to avoid. And we just have to rely on fear to do the work of reason and our officials to come forward on some formula in which we uh, do not let the creditworthiness of the United States be taken hostage by anyone for any reason. Yeah, and so, at the so same important. time, there is some serious demonstration that the debt issue is one that's going to be taken seriously uh, in Washington at this critical time. And that's going to be the political maneuvering. Uh, frankly, I think we're going to succeed here because I think the two most experienced players in this drama, yeah. President Biden and Senator McConnell, who were colleagues in the Senate for a long time and who have worked together successfully in the past, uh, my guess is that they will find a way together. They have no other choice. They have to find a way to resolve this. In this letter uh, to Speaker McCarthy, Secretary Yellen is calling on Congress to act, and I'm quoting her now, as soon as possible on this debt limit. Is this May 9th meeting that's been now proposed by President Biden over at the White House with the congressional bipartisan leadership, is that cutting it too close? Look, I think the sooner I gather Speaker McCarthy is in Israel right now, so he's not really in a position to come to meetings in uh, the White House. But the sooner this gets, uh, the more focused this gets, the better off we're going to be. But frankly, some issues are incredibly complicated and they have to be pursued in every detail. This isn't one of them. Congress needs to authorize borrowing that has already been completely authorized and indeed committed by their past actions. That's just what Congress needs to do. And in the environment, we need to have some understanding of how we're going to deal with our problems of growing debt. But threatening to stiff our creditors, that is not the way to deal yeah. with our very real deficit and debt issues. Yep. Let me also ask you while I have you, Mr. Secretary, about the failure of First Republic Bank. This is the third bank failure here in the United States in the past seven weeks. Can Americans really feel confident right now that the worst is over? Look, I, the most important thing for your viewers to understand is that every depositor in First Republic gets all their money out, just like every depositor in the other banks. And so no one needs to panic that they are not going to get their money out of a bank. That is the most important thing. Look, uh, these were major financial events. They point up that our regulatory system is not all we hoped it would be. Uh, Vice Chairman Barr of the Federal Reserve System wrote a very thoughtful report pointing up all the various problems in uh, the previous supervisory and regulatory 
regime. We've got lessons to learn from that. And more urgently, at a time when banks are under more pressure, there's going to be less supply of uh, credit. And that's something that's surely going to affect uh, the economy. And so the Federal Reserve has as hard a job in the next several months as I've ever seen the Fed facing. It has to, on the one hand, balance the absolute imperative of bringing down inflation, which is still unacceptably high, with the imperative of making sure that there's an adequate flow of credit to people buying houses or cars or businesses or small uh, businesses. So it's a very difficult balancing act uh, that the Fed is facing. Certainly is. The former Treasury Secretary Larry Summers, as usual, thanks so much for joining us. Thank so we'll, you, Wolf. Thank you. And we'll have more breaking news.